Season of Dawn brought with it a new gameplay loop that introduces a brand new mechanic called the Obelisks. Today, I'm going to go over how these work, what they offer, and of course, how to get all of the awesome loot. When you begin the Season of Dawn quest from Ikora, she'll send you to Osiris, and he'll have you do a bunch of different quests for him. One of those is activating the obelisk on the Tangled Shore, and then you should check back with Osiris afterwards for the Mars quest. These obelisks are necessary because they control the loot that you earn at the end of the Sundial activity, which we'll get to in a moment. Once you finish the quest to activate the obelisk, you can then interact with them and see what rewards they offer. Your goal is to increase the resonance of each obelisk to unlock additional bounties, passive bonuses, mods, etc. Put simply, that just means you need to level up its rank as if it were a vendor like Lord Shax. Instead of turning in tokens though, you're turning in a currency called Polarized Fractaline. This currency comes from completing the weekly bounties offered by each obelisk, from completing triumphs within the Season 9 Triumphs tab, similar to the Imperial Triumphs if you were around during Season of Opulence, from running the Sundial activity, from leveling up your Season Pass, and from playing different activities once you buy the Obelisk upgrades. Turning in these polarized fractaline either by 10 at a time or 50 at a time increases the reputation rank of an obelisk, and ranking up has a chance to reward you with a season 9 armor piece and sometimes a season 9 shader. To level up a full rank costs 200 fractaline, regardless of what rank you're at. This currency is also used to purchase the time lost weapon bounties in the first row here, which are like the Black Armory frames or Essence Quest from Shadowkeep, where you have to complete an objective to craft a weapon. Except there's really no crafting involved here because when you complete one of these bounties, you get the weapon immediately. You don't need to return to the Sundial activity and run it again or visit Osiris, nothing, you just get it. The second row consists of a bunch of different bonuses, otherwise known as obelisk enhancements. Things like increased chance to get materials for getting headshots on an enemy, or an increased chance to earn Fractaline when completing Gambit matches, and eventually special Season of Dawn mods. The more you level up an obelisk, the more of these bounties and bonuses you can purchase. But it's not just all materials and extra currency. Each obelisk has a few upgrades that make a really big difference during your grind. The Mars obelisk has two main upgrades. The first is called Time Lost Capacity, which when purchased means you can now hold up to three weapon bounties at once, upgrade it again, and then you can hold even more, and so on. The second one is called Temporal Slipstream, which increases the amount of weapons you can earn at the end of a Sundial activity. Currently you can only pick one, but upgrade it again, you can get two weapons at once, and so on. The Tangled Shore one has something called Time Lost Stasis, which speeds up how long it takes you to complete a weapon bounty. So it reduces the amount of kills you need, or finishers, or whatever the objective is. And then there's Signal Strength, which increases the amount of obelisks that you can link to the sundial, which is very important. So when you first start out, you can only link one obelisk to a sundial, right? Either that's the Tangled Shore one, or the Mars one. Whichever one you have linked, when you run the sundial activity, the rewards from that obelisk are going to be the only rewards that you have to choose from after you beat the boss. So if you link the Mars one, you're going to have the choice of a grenade launcher or a linear fusion. If you link the Tangled Shore one, you're going to have a choice of an auto rifle or the sidearm. So let's say you have the Mars one linked because you want that linear fusion with a firing line roll. You run the activity and get exactly what you want. But now you want an auto rifle from your next sundial run. Well, since the auto rifle comes from the Tangled Shore Obelisk, you gotta go there, pay 10,000 Glimmer to reset it, and then link the Tangled Shore one since it has the auto rifle. I should note that resetting a linked Obelisk does not remove its upgrades or ranks, and it also doesn't make you pay more Glimmer every time you reset it. It's always gonna be 10,000 Glimmer. So it's a bit tedious, yes, at first, but that's the point of the upgrades. I should also note that at rank 12 of the Season Pass, you'll actually earn an extra Sundial Link, giving you the ability to link both the Mars and the Tangled Shore ones right away without needing to purchase the actual upgrade, which is pretty nice. So essentially the goal here is to just upgrade the shit out of all the obelisks so that you can have all the weapon bounties and bonuses and upgrades and eventually link all four obelisks to the Sundial so that you have the choice of all the weapons at the end of the activity. Just like Season of Opulence, the grind is going to get a lot easier once you unlock these upgrades. Thankfully, both the currency and the obelisks are account-wide, so once you unlock them, you can hop on any of your other characters that you have and pick up those weekly bounties, and continue right where you left off. 
This means you can really approach the grind any way you want. You can put all your currency into one obelisk or spread it out across all of them. It seems to be most efficient to put all of your currency into one and fully upgrade one obelisk to start. If you play a lot of PvP for example, it's probably going to be best for you to upgrade the Mars obelisk first because one of the bonuses gives you a chance to earn more currency from the Crucible matches. However, you're going to have to decide if that's more worth it to you than getting the Tangled Shore upgrade that speeds up your weapon bounties, so it's really just kind of deciding how you want to play. We don't know the upgrades that are available on the EDZ or Nessus ones yet that are launching next week, so if you'd like to wait and see the benefits those offer before spending any of your currency, you should just stockpile it now until the new ones are revealed. Hopefully this video clears up some things. It's a bit overwhelming when you first jump in, but if you spend some time looking over the obelisk after watching this video, these things should start to make more sense. I'd really appreciate a like on the video if this helped you out, and with that, thank you very much for watching.